Hey guys, it's May 27th and there are great things going on in the garden, there are weird things and there are amazing things and some bad things, but, but the bad things are my fault. So, without further ado, let us get on with um, the May 27th edition of checking out the garden. Now I just watered these right now actually, because uh, it's been really hot today, it was like really hot so it's like I gotta water these guys. And it's gonna be hot all week. So yeah. Okay, now I noticed this last time, actually the day after I recorded the last video. Um, check it out. Little baby eggplants. Look at it. It's a little baby eggplant. He says hi. Cause he was like, ow. He was like hiding under there. This guy doesn't have any. But the other one does. Um, yeah, he was like hiding under there, so it was weird. But you can see how big they've gotten since the time that I got them. Their leaves are really starting to spread out and they're all green and I love it. Here's the quince. Okay, now here are my tomatoes. Take note of the size of my tomato plants. Take note of it. Okay, take note of these Roma tomatoes. Take... Alright, look, they're already coming out. See? And then, um, you're gonna look at, look how big the leaves are, okay? Look how open they are. You, You'll, you will understand why I'm saying that in a little bit. But look at this. Like, there's like six of five of them right here. And it's, it's crazy. Like, they're all over this place. All over. This guy has a little yellow on him. I don't know why, but it's like yellow down there. Uh, who knows? I don't know. But the other ones don't seem to have a lot of yellow, except for that one has a couple leaves. But yeah. And then even, remember this like scraggly ass one? It was like really all messed up in the beginning. He's starting to come out. So yeah, but they're all really big, and I love it. And all of them have tomatoes on them. Like, look. Oh, look, these are gigantic. Okay, look. Use my fingers. Like, oh, it's just great. It's great. Okay, now here's the apricot. Look, there's a couple of them on here. A couple apricots. Now here's the beefsteak tomatoes. Take note as well. Look at, like, alright, notice the leaves again, how open they are. And then look at how many leaves are, are still growing. Like, look, baby leaves. And then big leaves, like, oh, they're just so healthy and I love it. Ah, oh, these guys are so healthy. Okay, well, look at the tomatoes on this one. Look at these. Look at, this is my hand. This is my hand. Oh, they're doing great. That one has a lot in the back. That, that one in the back has a lot. Um, these in the front, look at, they're like melded into two. Look, see, this, this is the smallest of the bee steak. He's over here in the corner. Then the one in the middle just kind of overtook him. Look at that. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay. Well, those are all mine. I don't even know how many we... Like, I could count all of them. Here, let me count all of them real quick. I'll cut it out for you so you, don't guys, you guys don't have to see. Okay, actually, I just started counting. And I'm going to get over here do some, like, acrobatics. And check this out, guys. Look how many... Okay, this is one branch of one plant. It's actually heavy to pick up. It's filled. I don't know if you guys could see that, but I'm gonna count them. I'm gonna count them with you guys right now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen tomatoes on one branch of one plant. Jesus. I'm gonna count all of them. So give me a second. Okay guys, I just counted them all. I'm, I counted 59 tomatoes out of all these ranging from gigantic, a little smaller than a baseball, probably the size of like a regular, from basically this size, up to little tiny ones the size of marbles. So there's 59. Jeez, I'm not even going to count the Romas because I know there's going to be just about as much, so. Wow. <laughs> okay, now look, this is the apple tree. My brother, he always makes fun of me because we just planted another trap apple tree in my backyard. And he's like, oh dude, mine's gonna be so much bigger. Oh my God, look at the trunk size. And he's like, he's always talking about the trunk size. He's like, dude, look. And he'll grab it like that and he'll be like, look at how big the trunk is. This thing's gonna be massive. I'm like, oh yeah. Cause look, there's our other, oh, you can't see it, but it's, it's way over there. See, look in my other yard, that's, um, that's a fig tree and that's a pomegranate tree. Then that, that little thing is an orange, 
but right right between the in, be in between the pomegranate and the and the orange is an apple tree. And that one we just planted this year, but my brother still makes fun of me for it. Hold on. Okay. The zoom on this thing's weird. All right. So now off of tomatoes and stuff. <laughs> okay, now here comes the bad news. But there's also really good news when it when it comes to things like chilies. A couple nights ago, I'd want to say like uh, four or five nights ago. Um, no, actually it was more like a week ago. So uh, about a week ago, me and my brother decided to pick a lot of the Highlander chilies because they were green and some of them are red. And this is what they look like. You could tell that they're like the Highlander chilies. They differ themselves from they're actually really light colored. So you look like here's a, a jalapeno. And then you look, here's the Highlander chili. You could see the difference in tone. Um, so yeah, we decided to pick them all. Thing is, most of the ones that we picked, I'd say like good 80, 85% of the ones that we picked were green. And we didn't know what color Highlander peppers were. So we said, oh, maybe the green ones, I think those those are those look good. And stupid us didn't plan on taste testing them but right when we picked them. So we just picked like 15 of them. Um, most of the ones that we had brought them back to the house found out they tasted like bell peppers because they weren't ready yet and only the red ones are spicy so yeah it's not a total loss because you can still like make stuff with them but you'd expect peppers to be spicy so it's just like uh, shame on us for not testing it it was my fault my, mine and my brother's fault but i take more responsibility because i didn't force him to taste it because i wasn't about to taste the chili because i don't like chilies <laughs> mosquitoes okay now look Look at the jalapenos. The jalapenos are coming out and they're huge. Actually, we replanted these. Okay, but yeah, look. See, my brother replanted those because they were like all scraggly and he, he brought some more. See, we didn't replant this one. Wait, maybe we did. Not this one. And not that one. But yeah. Okay, look, there's a Highlander pepper. That's what they're supposed to look like. Okay, and then... Okay, here's the purple plum. So yeah, we had to tie this one up because it kept falling down. Now you're gonna notice something interesting. Check it out. Look at the watermelon coverage. The watermelons are spreading out and it looks amazing. Oh my God, the watermelons. Uh, compared to the ones that are over there in the other bucket, these are getting bigger probably because they're getting more sun. Look, that one's grabbing onto the fence. He's grabbing onto the fence. My plan is working. Okay, now, a couple weeks, or not a week, a couple weeks, a couple days ago actually, this is what I was mentioning before, my brother's uh, friend came over and we gave him one of these. I gave him it off of this plant. It was, it's a jalafuego. Look at it. Look at those things. It was so spicy. He started crying. I swear. It was crazy. Look at it. But these things just started coming out like crazy, man. Each plant has one. At least one. This one has two. This has three. Oh my god. Yeah, these things are super hot. Okay, here's the apple pear. And then, dun dun dun, the dreaded box of death with chile de arbols, which are actually just had little skinny itty bitty chilies. Look, yeah. It's because the plant isn't that big. But other than that, the cantaloupes are going everywhere. Look, that one goes out to there. This one's coming off the edge. See, he's got little arms. These things are crazy, man. It's gonna be a crazy summer with those things. Crazy summer. And then here's the peach tree. <laughs> Look, it's covered in peaches like it's got a fungus or something. Look at it, they're just everywhere, man. They haven't, they haven't seemed to be getting bigger though. I don't know why. Maybe it's just perspective and time dilation or something. Okay, then here's the Highlander peppers that we picked all the peppers off of. So none of them have them anymore. See? Look, these are actually a darker shade. These two in the middle. I don't know why, but See, it's a darker than this one, but they're the same plant. Seems like they're accustomed to more sun, I guess. Here's the little other apricot. Here's a spearmint plant. My little grape, he grabbed onto the chain link already. And then a pear. This thing is nice. And then look, the little jalafuegos that we planted here in the back. This one's got, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a seventh little one. And an eighth one coming out right there. This one's great. These things are super spicy though. I'm telling you, it's so spicy. I love it though. It's great. Okay. Now remember how I told you to take note of the 
uh, the sizes in the leaves. Take note of the sizes in the leaves of my brother's tomatoes, because undoubtedly he has more tomatoes than I do. Well, at least equal to when it comes to actual tomatoes, not plants. But look at his leaves, they're all curled up and weird. It's like they're always dry, but he waters them quite a bit. I don't know. His leaves are weird compared to mine. Mine seem to be open. And his plants aren't as big, to be honest. So I'm kind of happy, because it started out great. His tomatoes were like overlapping mine, if you guys remember, in terms of size, but not anymore. And then he planted that little lettuce, and that one's doing good. He grew by seed. And all of his plants, all of his tomatoes, or all of his, look at, look at that. Look at all those. Those are jalapenos or jalafuegos or something. Look, he didn't label his. Whoa, look at these jalapenos. Look at, oh, that's cool. And all of his Roma tomatoes, they're doing great. These are doing better than the beef steaks, actually. The more lettuce that he planted by seed. Then he moved all of his other um, stuff back here, things that needed to be in the shade. So like strawberries, more lettuce, and I think that's a squash. Nice, right guys? Look at little lettuce by seed. Look at these things, look at it. Oh man, make some mean salsa with that. Okay, now this is zone three. You gotta check out the bean here. Has overtaken one of our little Highlander peppers. He's wrapped around there and gone back and he's on the move. Okay, now you're gonna notice immediately that I've added another row down the middle. My brother had some extra jalapenos and I needed to plant, it, plant them, so I did. Uh, they're a little like lopsided because I just planted them right now actually. Uh, but yeah. Okay, now the tomatoes here aren't as big as the other ones. Probably because, I don't know. Okay, maybe it's the sun. Most likely they're getting too much sun and too little, um, or too much water. Because I watered these a lot more than I did the other ones. So I watered like this whole area a lot more than I did the other ones actually. But they all have tomatoes. So that's good, this one's the biggest. I think it, see, he's the biggest. And if you look over there, that one's the biggest. So I guess they get less sun since they're next to these oleanders. Okay, then, and then look, I planted some more in these buckets. So we'll see how that goes. And then look, okay, these are the jalafuegos. See, more jalafuegos. All of it, look at it. But yeah, Chile, the arbol still hasn't given us anything. And yeah. Okay, actually, hold on, let me show you guys really quick. Let me run over here. Uh, it's far away. Prepare to be thoroughly amazed. This is my brother's shop, but check it out. He has hydroponics set up here. It's rudimentary, but he planted these when we had planted all the other ones but they're chilies and they haven't flowered or anything. And they haven't flowered probably because, um, because the sunlight, he has sunlight, or yes, the light on them directly 24 seven most of the time. So it doesn't give them their cycles because they need certain cycles to be able to flower and to be able to um, produce their fruit. But yeah, they, but yeah, my dog likes to come in here and eat the, eat the rocks, which probably isn't good. It's actually pretty ingenious, like look. You're gonna see, I'll lift one of these up. He has them in these, these aren't actually hydroponics cups, but he just he put them in here. Look, there's a bug right there, it's dead though. See, and then the roots come through. Like this root's barely coming out, but for these, for the big one back here, the roots are already dangling in the water. Now you ask me, well, Steven, don't the plants drown if they get too much water? Actually, no. Not if they're in these giant tubs, like this one doesn't have anything yet. There's these um, air filters, like fish filters, that bubble through the water and it gets oxygen up into the roots. 
See, so all the waters come, the bubbles come up, and they hit the roots that are dangling down in the water, and it gives the roots oxygen. And they, and they get, look at how green these are. These are perfectly green. And then normally you wouldn't have just one LED light bulb or one fluorescent bulb because it's a fluorescent bulb. You, you'd have a multitude of colors. So you'd have green, or not green, you'd have uh, blue and red LEDs and yellow LEDs um, just kind of around here, like probably in, the, in like one spot up here, shining down because then you get the whole spectrum of colors. Not green because plants can't absorb green light, but you get the whole spectrum of colors, not just, not just white light and like, and then plants get, they get going like crazy. And then when you want them to flower, once they're big enough, you start, start alternating patterns of light. And he's experimenting with this guy. He's like, it's gonna be great. I should probably plant some in there. Just cause, just for the hell of it. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed a little tidbit about this. Maybe I could get that running today. And then if I do, um, I'll make another video about it. So yeah guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments about anything, um, criticism, how I make these videos or advice or anything about planting, just let me know. And you can send me a message or in comments, whatever. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. And May 27th, but probably the next time I make one of these videos will be like in the next week or so. And then we'll have all summer to make videos and plant things and look at stuff. So yeah, guys, I'll see you later.